Looking for the best CPU coolers for the Ryzen 9 9900 X3D? While the 9900X3D is not the cheapest CPU, it makes up for that with a stacked 128MB L3 cache, 5.5GHz boost clocks, and a 12-core 24-thread configuration. It also has a lower 120W TDP, which means that cooling it shouldn't be a big problem. However, considering how sensitive that X3D V cache is to high temperatures, you'll still need to choose a cooler that can keep thermals in check. To save you the trouble of sifting through thousands of CPU coolers, I've done the research and testing to round up the best options for the Ryzen 9 9900X3D. These picks offer something for everyone, whether your priority is raw performance, aesthetics, or simply finding a cooler that checks all the boxes. Price information and all the CPU coolers mentioned in the video are available in the description. First, the best premium CPU cooler for the Ryzen 9 9900X3D is the Corsair IQ Link Titan 360RX RGB. Corsair has been a big name in the PC industry, and is often synonymous with premium CPU coolers. We've seen this with the company's H150i Elite LCD XT AIO cooler, and a similar story follows the IQ Link Titan 360 RX RGB. From aesthetics to performance, this cooler offers everything in one package, and for a CPU like the 9900X3D, it delivers excellent cooling performance and should keep you covered for years to come. The 360mm cooler features a three-phase motor for high-flow coolant, combined with a precision-engineered cold plate that ensures maximum CPU die coverage and effective heat dissipation. You also get three RX120 fans pre-installed on the radiator, running at 2100 RPM with a 73.5 CFM. These bundled fans are non-PWM and the entire setup relies on the IQ Link Hub to function. So, it's not just a regular fan and RGB controller. In fact, it has higher power requirements and uses a 6-pin PCIe GPU power connection to power on. Corsair has used rubber tubes with low permeation, and they're covered with nylon braided white mesh sleeves for added durability and aesthetics. One key difference between the Titan series and the LCD series is that the Titan doesn't have a distribution box integrated into the radiator. This is a bit of a miss from Corsair, as the integrated box on the LCD series helps keep the block area of the cooler neat and clean. Part of what makes this AIO a premium choice is the feature set it brings. For instance, the cooler's CPU block has a top plate that can be removed to reveal a hot swap connector. Corsair introduced swappable pump caps with the Titan series, including options like an LCD screen, a VRM fan, and the pump cap groove module. The stock pump cap doesn't include an LCD screen, but features Corsair-themed styling on the top, along with 360-degree RGB diffusion. Installing the AIO cooler is fairly straightforward, but it's recommended to check the manual to ensure everything is correctly assembled. I also suggest connecting all the cables first before installing the box, as the VRM covers of the motherboards may limit access. The copper base of the CPU block also comes with pre-applied thermal paste, though there is no additional thermal paste provided. Performance-wise, the Corsair IQ Link Titan 360RX RGB is one of the strongest coolers on the market and shows a commendable performance improvement over the IQ Link H150i LCD. The overall noise levels have also improved noticeably. That said, there are more affordable AIO kits out there that go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Titan 360 RX RGB in terms of cooling, but they lack the premium build, hot swap caps, pre-installed fans, minimal cabling, and other refinements Corsair offers. All in all, if you have the budget and want a powerful cooler to keep your 9900X3D and even future CPUs under control during heavy workloads while also looking aesthetically pleasing, the Corsair IQ Link Titan 360RX RGB is well worth considering. Obviously, there are a few caveats, the main one being that the only way to control the fans is through Corsair's IQ ecosystem, but it's nothing that breaks the deal. To sum up, what I like is that it offers a solid performance increase over the IQ Link H150i LCD, it comes with a bunch of premium features, it has replaceable pump caps, and it focuses on digital connectivity and fewer cables. On the downside, there's no PWM control, and it has a high PCIe power requirement.
Finally, my top choice for the 9900X3D is the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 Pro 360 ARGB. Whether it's CPU coolers, GPU coolers, fans, or even thermal pastes, Arctic has been producing outstanding PC components for the past two decades. The brand's Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 made waves among DIY PC enthusiasts, but despite being an already impressive AIO, Arctic decided to further refine the series with the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 Pro 360 ARGB. The Pro variant shares many of the same features as its predecessors, including the same pump and VRM fan, but comes with upgraded radiator fans, a wider RPM range, and ARGB lighting. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 Pro 360 ARGB boasts a radiator that feels more premium than most, possibly due to its increased thickness of 38mm compared to the more standard 27mm. The pump has been moved to make space for a larger VRM fan, which enhances airflow to nearby components and slides into position effortlessly. Arctic has opted for swivel fittings on the pump and has also modified the bundled contact frame to better cover CPU hotspots. The fans for the radiator aren't the same blowers as before and are instead from Arctic's P12 Pro ARGB lineup, featuring 7 blades instead of 5. These have an RPM range of 600 to 3000, increasing the 360mm model's airflow from 56.3 CFM to 77.0 CFM, and static pressure from 2.2mm H2O to 6.9mm H2O, triple that of its predecessor. While the ability of the radiator fans to spin up to 3000 RPM does mean high noise output, you'd only be using this noise profile in extreme situations. In terms of installation, the process is pretty much identical to its predecessor and as simple as it gets. The fans come pre-installed and ready to go with the RGB cable, and with AMD CPUs, there are no issues to worry about. Now, talking about the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 Pro 360 ARGB's performance, I had high expectations considering its predecessor's reputation, and fortunately, it did not disappoint. It delivers solid performance, handling up to 259 watts of max heat load. It even outperforms premium offerings like the Corsair H150i Elite LCD XT by over 9 watts, and comes on par with the more expensive Be Quiet Light Loop 360 AO cooler. Considering the 9900X3D's 170W TDP, Arctic's AIO is perfect for the job, even if you plan on overclocking the chip down the road. As for aesthetics, the Liquid Freezer 3 Pro 360 comes in both black and white variants, with the black one offering a more neutral look that should fit well in most builds, especially if you're not big on ARGB lighting. However, if you're here specifically for the ARGB experience, which is the whole point of this model's appeal, it delivers on that front too. The overall lighting is solid, with good color uniformity, smooth transitions, and little to no flickering or other visual issues. That said, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 Pro 360 checks all the right boxes and proves that there's always room for improvement. There are hardly any drawbacks with this AIO, aside from the radiator fan noise beyond 50% PWM. However, considering how well the cooler performs even at low RPM settings, a custom fan profile should easily keep excessive RPM and noise under control. To sum up, what I like is that it offers excellent performance on AMD CPUs, it has a visually pleasing design with ARGB lighting, no software is required for the cooler to perform at its best, and the installation process is pretty straightforward. On the downside, the fans can get loud at max RPM. Thanks for watching! Remember, you can check prices in the description below.